Okay, let's take this uh, Mitsubishi Pajero 2.8 long wheelbase turbo diesel exceed for a spin. Warning lights come up. Starts on the button and warning lights go out. I'm going to stir it down. I've done just over 90 miles in this now. Um, it's driven absolutely superbly. Starts on the button. No unpleasant noises from the motor. No overheating, misfiring or hesitation or anything like that. Um, the gearbox is nice. Changes up and down smoothly. No um, clunking when it's changing up and down. Goes into the uh, overdrive top gear properly. We've had all the four wheel drive system working. These have got the selectable two and four wheel drive. In normal use like this, you simply use the, uh, the two wheel drive to keep fuel consumption a bit better. Um, but overall, it drives really nicely. So, certainly, engine box and running gear all spot on. Showing 64,000 miles. Um, the garage that sold it when it first came into the country a couple of years ago um, warranted the mileage as being correct at 50,000 and the MOTs would uh, support that it hasn't been altered since. It certainly drives like a nice tight car. The FAI can criticise it. Possibly the tracking is very, very slightly out. Uh, or it could well be this uh, small steering wheel that's fitted that just um, is slightly off centre. But I've had it running up to about 80 miles an hour and it hasn't been uh, veering wildly. Should we say it just feels it maybe half a degree or so out. Off we go. So, very lively for one of these. Um, it's not smoky. Performance wise, engine gearbox and running gear spot on, it stops nicely, which we'll show you again in a minute. Internal specification, it's basically as, as these uh, 2.8 long wheelbase seats always are. You've got seven seats in this one, uh, the rearmost seats fold up. Um, switchable automatic transmission with uh, power mode, uh, all that sort of stuff on it. Alt adjustable suspension, adjustable from uh, the lever down here, or button rather, just down there. Uh, this one's got really nice um, radio, CD and mini disc player in it, uh, with also, also telephone connectivity. Uh, it's a Kenwood one, um, presumably it's the original Japanese one, but it has actually been expanded so it picks up UK, uh, um, UK radio stations. Digital climate control, which is fully working and properly cold working nicely. Up here we've got the altimeter, the inclinometer and the compass which are all working well. Um, we've also got electric aerial on this one. In front of us here we've got speed. Now important the speedo and the odometer on this one seem to have been converted to miles per hour so it's showing 64,000 but I know it's working in in miles rather than usually on these the odometer is left in kilometers but this one has been um, altered to uh, uh, has been recalibrated, shall we say, to run in um, miles per hour rather than kilometres. Obviously, the speedo's in miles per hour as well. Fuel gauge, temperature gauge, which is sitting just below the uh, halfway point, and rev counter over here. We've also got electric windows all round, electric sunroof, um, electric mirrors. One thing, the driver's side electric mirror isn't working on the switch. Um, no real hardship, as you because it's close enough to, uh, to water just by putting your hand out, but um, the switch itself is only operating the near side mirror um, and obviously we've got uh, central locking on this one as well. Now I've two little 50 miles an hour as you see it's uh, not uh, veering around or anything the road is slightly bendy here so I've got to be a little bit careful but it's not uh, veering off to one side. I know it has fairly recently had a new set of tyres on this one as well. And say so I've done over 90 miles on it now and it's been absolutely spot on. Turn off here. Under 
braking, it's all right. It's not veering to one side or another. That's spot on. Obviously, it's got power.